the rack in Reason is where all your modules are stored, uh, your instruments and effects, and also the devices that deal with getting sound in and out and MIDI in and out of the software. It's modelled on a hardware rack of equipment, the difference being here, of course, because it's software, it's virtually infinite. You can load up as many things as you want. You could load up 10 instances of the same synthesizer if you wanted, which, of course, you can't really do with hardware. The only real limit to this is the power of your computer, but on that front, Reason's also really nice because it's optimised for multiple cores, which your computer probably has if you're running new software. And also, it's a 64-bit application, which means it can address lots of memory. So the chances of running out of power in Reason are fairly slim. You can run very large projects without really running into any obstacles at all. You can drag and drop devices into the rack from the tool window here, or you can create devices directly from the Create menu. And a third way to achieve the same thing is if you right-click anywhere in some empty space, you can access the same menu that you had up there from the Create menu. Let's say we want to drag or create a synth in here. Let's actually start with a loop. Let's start with a beat. This is the Dr. Rex loop player. Uh, it's got some cool beats and loops in it. Let's find a cool drum loop, electronic. And load that in. And we talk about this a lot in the special instrument section of the main tutorials. Uh, very quickly, I will just drop a loop into a track. This is something that will become second nature to you when you've been using Reason for a little while. Pretty cool drum loop. And uh, let's try adding a bass part to it. Let's very quickly just uh, modify this default sound. Let's dirty it up a bit. There you go. So we've just got a loop and a synth running, and uh, let's just play in a quick synth part. That's just a really simple MIDI keyboard connected to Reason. And uh, there's a pretty cool riff straight off. And that took us about 15 seconds to create. I could quantize that bass part, make it sound a bit tighter. There's a really simple example of how to put together a really cool little groove in next to no time. <laughs> 